Okay, so we've done Wi-Fi, we did Bluetooth, but uh, let's tackle uh, something else. How about uh, oh, GPS? We'll steal that one, all right? So let's see, what do we need for uh, GPS on this particular thing, which we happen to know the uh, GPS is the same because it's provided once again by the system on a chip from the phone. We can see that in here. Um, where is it? Uh, location. Yep. So uh, now that doesn't necessarily mean that everything will just perfectly flop over. There may be some slight differences or some kind of setup or settings that it needs that we may or may not have accurately set here. But we'll take a look here and notice if uh, equals device garlic, we need to change that to be, uh, you know, our life one X2. And, uh, you know, go through the files and make sure that they're going to work properly by checking to make sure they are, they are right. Um, so here it's saying use device specific GPS. That is true. Uh, we'll search in GPS in the device config, copy some configuration files over. It uses a package. Notice that package there is for the MSM 8937, which is the same system on a chip that we're using. So I really think that that's going to be the same between the two. Uh, you know, we can prove this to ourselves. We bring up our uh, our device there. And we see our system on a chip and processor is MSM 8937. So um, that's why we think we can just copy this over. It doesn't necessarily mean it's going to work, but it's at least a really promising sign. Um, and then it copies some of these configuration files over. So if you were going to do this for a phone that you didn't have something so similar, you would probably just look up what, you know, GPS is on there and try to find where you can get that. So we're just going to open this up and check to make sure that there's no um, references to garlic. You could just search these files and have it checked to make sure there's no reference to garlic. Uh, you know, or that it somehow specifies the vendor files for garlic, because we want to make sure that it's pointing to our Life One X2 files and folders. So, um, just something a uh, good idea to do when you're stealing from another device. Make sure that it's still not pointing to the old device files. So, looks like this one is good to go. So we'll. Uh, We'll just take that as is and update our uh, our repository.